Yeah. Again, around 6 a.m., we responded to a call for service here on Deerfield. Uh, when we arrived, we found two victims, a male victim and a female victim of an apparent gunshot wounds. Uh, all indications at this point in time it points to a murder-suicide. Uh, here's that the female had uh, shot the male and took her own life. We have one scene right now with detectives, along with our crime scene investigators conducting an investigation. Uh, there was two uh, kids here that have been taken off with a family member and is currently being interviewed uh, about what they may have known. Uh, that happened here uh, in the early morning hours on Deerfield. Uh, the St. Clair Parish Coroner's Office is also on team conducting their investigation uh, once that's cleared. Uh, both victims will be transported to all these parish coroner's office for an autopsy. Do we have any information to pass along about the the couple's relationship? Yep. The couples, uh, they, they appear to be in their mid-30s. We understand from family members they've been married uh, for just over two years. And indications from the family members that they had a, you know, a, a tough relationship uh, most recently. It's been on and get off again. And it appeared that they were trying to make things work uh, here recently. Uh, and as a result, we'll see what happens in the early morning hours today. Now these... Um the kids were in the house, not, not injured in any way, shape, or right. form. No, no one else was injured in the house. Uh, there was three other people in the house. Uh, two uh, appear to be the kids from the, the female victim, her biological children, um, and, and commented with us being interviewed, and that there was a third person inside the house also. That's uh, off the family member's family. This is the first um, homicide here in St. Bernard in, in quite some time, and obviously, uh, you know, comes as a shock to people in this neighborhood. Yeah, you know, uh, homicides in St. Bernard are, are very unusual. The last reported homicide we had was back in October of 2015. That was a carjack, and this is something that, that doesn't happen in St. Bernard very often. So when, when it does, of course, you can look around and a lot of people come out, and, and there are some concerns about it. Uh, you know, but when, you, when you're dealing with domestic violence, you know, and, and, and we do a lot in our line of work to, to make sure when we respond to these type of calls of domestic violence that we make sure that the victim uh, knows and understands uh, you know, that, that you can get help and, and if you're willing to get help. You know? But oftentimes and too often uh, times that you know, the victims of domestic violence you know, continue that cycle uh, without breaking that cycle and, and sometimes you know, it resulted in these type of tragic events. Deputies never called out to this home before? No, no, no call history pertaining to uh, the, the, the two people inside that home right now. Uh, as they were living here on the table, we checked that very early on, and, and there's no call history at that address involving those two people. Neighbors said that they just moved in maybe this past weekend. I, I'm not certain. Okay. Can you confirm or give us kind of an idea of Kids, uh, I think one of them's in middle school, and, and, and one may be in high school. You know, so I want to say early, early teens. Who yep. they placed the call? I'm not yeah. certain who inside the home placed the call. Uh, it, it was likely one of them. The call made after the gunshot. Yeah, the or, call. Or the argument. call came in that they were unresponsive. Uh, when we were arrived, uh, we discovered 